In this short tutorial, we are gonna fix Fortnite Windows cannot access the specified device problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. I recommend watching the video once before trying solutions. The first solution is to run Epic as admin and change Fortnite's compatibility settings. To run Epic as admin, go to search and type Epic Games. Then click open file location. After doing this, Right click on Epic and click open file location again. Then we right click on Epic and then click on compatibility. We to run this program as an admin and click apply. Click OK and close this tab. To change Fortnite's compatibility settings, open Epic and click on the three dots next to Fortnite. Then click manage and then click open install location. After that, click Fortnite Game, Binaries, and Win64. There will be 4 files with Fortnite icons in this folder. We will change the compatibility settings of these files. Scroll down and find these files. We will do the same for these 4 files. Right click on Fortnite Launcher and open Properties. Click on Compatibility from the top. After that, we to run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows 8. Then we tick disable full screen optimizations and anti run this program as an admin if it is ticked. Click apply to save the changes and then click ok. We will do this for the other files as well. Make sure run this program as an admin is unticked. We have changed Fortnite's compatibility settings. Now you can open Epic and check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the second solution. Also, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. The second solution is to clear Fortnite and Epic's cache files. To do this, press the Windows and R keys at the same time to open run. After that, Type percent looklab data percent and press enter. The files we need to delete are Epic Games Launcher, Fortnite Game, Unreal Engine, and Unreal Engine Launcher. If you received folder in use notification, just close Epic. Deleting these files will not harm Epic or our game. We will just need to log back into our account. We have cleared the cache files. Now we can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem persists, we will move on to the third solution. The third solution is give permission to Fortnite files from the first solution. To do this, we open the file location of Fortnite as we did in the first solution. After doing this, right click on Fortnite launcher and open properties. From the top, we click on security and then click on edit. After doing this, in the group or username section, we set them all to full control and click apply. We will do this to the other files as well. We gave it the permission. Now we can check if the problem is solved or not. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.